Hi, Roy Oppenheim for Oppenheim Law. I want to talk to you a little bit about what happens after you've filed for incorporation, after you have your bylaws, you now need what's called a shareholders agreement. Of course, you only need a shareholders agreement if you have shareholders. And if you have shareholders, we want to understand the relationship between the two of you, what happens if someone gets disabled, what happens if someone dies, what happens if someone wants to quit, uh, what happens if one person wants to sell and the other person wants to, wants to buy out that person, or if you both want to sell, or, 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 or anything like that. And so you want to have a, a, a an agreement that, that anticipates some of these issues so that when you're in the trenches in a crisis or there's there's a question about how a decision is to be made you just go to the go to the agreement and you say well let's see how we're supposed to resolve this and so uh, these types of agreements uh, have been around for years uh, many of them have traditional kinds of clauses that we like to use and then sometimes people want to do something special or different and we accommodate them but either way uh, you ought to have an attorney involved with the preparation of your shareholder agreement in the same way that you should have someone involved with preparing your bylaws and your articles of incorporation. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches.